everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I thought I'd show you what's in my changing bag and this is the kind of 12 to 18 month edition. My boy is now 15 months and I can't see what I carry around in my change bag changing that much before he's 18 months. So if you're new to my channel, my name's Tabby. I make videos on motherhood and fashion and hauls and vlogs and all kinds of things really. So it'd be great to have you here. So please consider subscribing. And yeah, I'll show you what's in my change bag. So I actually have two changing bags. I have this one, which is a backpack kind of rucksack jobby. And I have this one, which is a pink lining, uh, kind of yellow and owl print design bag. This is the Wise Owl design, I think. Um, it's quite big. So I'll tell you a story about this bag. When I was expecting my little boy, I happened to mention to my mum and dad that I was looking for the perfect change bag and I had been looking for a change bag for ages online and looking at all the pretty prints and colours and really deliberated about which one I wanted and this was going to be, you know, a big decision for me. Anyway, mum and dad went out and they went to TK Maxx and they picked up this backpack and brought it back and were like, we got you a change bag. And although not ungrateful, I was absolutely mortified because I'd seen all these pretty ones and mum and dad rocked up with this and I was like, nah, <laughs> nah, 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 I'm not carrying that. But actually, I didn't ever get round to buying another one. I thought, well, they bought it now. I may as well, you know, use what I've got. Sorry, mum and dad, if you're watching this. <laughs> um, I thought I may as well use what they got me. But actually, it has worked out for the best because this is the best changing bag I could have possibly ever have wished for. It is so practical. The fact that it is like this backpack design means I could sling it on my back and carry my little boy if necessary. It's really easy to carry, really comfy to carry. And the fact that it just looks like a normal backpack also means that daddy, my husband, can, can carry it as well and doesn't feel like a bit silly when he's carrying, you know, a really flowery pink printed number. <laughs> Generally, this one goes everywhere with me. I only ever use this one if we are going somewhere a bit kind of, that requires a bit of a posher, more formal bag. So yeah, this is by Fisher Price and it's specifically designed with loads of things in mind. Um, it's got these little tabs on, I don't know if you can see with the pictures of what you should keep in each compartment. Um, obviously, my little boy isn't having bottles anymore, apart from at bedtime, so we don't use that for bottles. Um, this was meant for a pacifier. These are meant for nappies, and yeah, the make apartment is meant for everything else. So it's got these straps. Ugh. It's got these straps on the back, um, it's got a breathable lining on the back so when you're carrying it on your back you don't get too hot. It has these really useful like clips here which means you can clip it over the handle of your pram or a shopping trolley or whatever it might be where you are and it also has a loop on the top here which you can carry it by or hang it up on the back of toilet doors and all that kind of good stuff. So on this loop as you can see I keep a couple of toys. I keep these ones because they've got clips on so when we go out to say a cafe for a cup of tea we can put them in the high chair and these toys have loops on so that we can fix them to the high chair and you can't throw them in other people's meals. <laughs> And I also keep this um, like clip hook thing um, over this tab as well because if I go shopping it's great for putting all the carrier bag handles through and then I can just pop it over the handle of the push chair and it keeps all my bags together. In the main compartment I have this thing from Jojo Mam and Babe which is like a mobile high chair um, and it's got like this farmyard print and you literally just kind of like hook this over the back of a chair and then this end comes up and you just tie these bits together and it just means that you've got a high chair wherever you go because especially in some restaurants and stuff they only provide like the most minimal amount of high chairs and if you get cut short if you've got this with you it means that you could always sit down and have a cup of tea and a piece of cake which let's face it is really important <laughs> baby washcloths which are an absolute godsend if you have a poo explosion <laughs> these are so much better than wet wipes because they're so much bigger i always carry around for him a drink his little coat 
This one's from Next. A spare hat. This one was just from Primark. A couple of spare vests. <laughs> I think I've actually got three. Three spare vests. These two are short sleeved ones, whereas this one is just an actual vest vest. Spare pair of trousers, just in case. These ones have got paw prints on, and these are from Zara. A spare jumper. This is just a Jules one. Um, it clips up at the back, which just makes it really easy to get on and off. Spare socks, a muslin. I've got some baby Nivea baby sun like stuff. Not that we ever get any sun in this country. This book is just the best thing ever. <laughs> I actually got this from Marks and Spencers, and it was quite expensive. It's four pounds. But this is called Daddy and Me and he loves it. It's been chewed and it's absolutely disgusting, but he loves it. And it's just got this little lion in the front, which you just pop your finger in the hole in the back. And it's a lovely story about a lion and his daddy, like on their adventures. And he absolutely loves this. This is a real hit, so wherever we go, I always take this because it just keeps him amused for ages. So just showing you through the pockets, I'll start on the side one here. And if I open that up, you'll see that this is actually like an insulated compartment, which is really useful when I did have to carry milk around. But now I just use it as kind of like a bit of a lunch box. So in here, I just keep a couple of fruity pouches. So I've got a Mamiya apple and strawberries. I've got a Mamiya bananas and apples. I've got an Annabelle Carmel dinner, which is organic salmon and sweet potato. Um, I've got some blueberry wafers, a, what's this, goodies, carrot cake, soft and oaty bar, and then a fork and a spoon, and I just keep that, obviously when I'm going out I pack a lunchbox for him of things that I've freshly made, but you know, it's really useful just to have things in here so that if they're, if you have got to say rush out really fast, for example, you know that you've got some spare snacks and fruit and stuff in here. So should they get hungry and you're out and about, you've always got an emergency supply. <laughs> On the opposite pocket, this came, and this actually came with a plastic box to keep your wipes in, but I didn't like it because I couldn't do the zip up around it. So um, yeah, I still put my wipes in this way so that I could just like lift the little tab up and pull them out which is really useful because it saves me getting the wipes in and out the bag um, and then you can just zip a new pack in as and when you need them so that's really really handy in this front pocket here this is kind of where i keep um his nappy cream this is the Vileda one i swear by this i talk about it in most videos I keep my uh, pack of nappy bags just for kind of wrapping things up for hygiene reasons <laughs> Oh, I picked up these. I think they're from either Aldi or Lidl. I think these are from Lidl. These are some um, refreshing citrus wipes and some multi-surface cleaning wipes. And these are little tiny kind of grab packets. There's not that many in here. Oh, there's 10 wipes in each. But these are just so useful because it means should you have like a really grubby high chair or something in a cafe or a restaurant, you could just pull out one of these and give it a rub down so it's much more hygienic. And these ones are really just great for your hands should you get sticky or covered in poo or anything like that. You've got these in an emergency. I take a mini antiperspirant just because sometimes chasing toddlers can get sweaty work and it's nice to smell fresh. Uh, I've got a comb in here just to keep his hair neat and tidy. Pack of tissues just for runny noses, useful for baby and for adults. Some hand gel just to use after I've changed him and that sort of thing. Oh, some bubbles. <laughs> I always find this useful kind of like if we're in the car and say one of us has got to quickly run, do an errand, go to the bank or something and he starts crying but you haven't got time to kind of get him out of the car seat and all that sort of thing. Blowing a few bubbles is a great distraction tactic just to kind of buy you some time. <laughs> and I keep some paracetamol in here as well just for myself. Then in this top pocket here, this is actually a waterproof pocket designed to keep your um, pacifier in. So in here I keep kind of medications for him. So I've got some teething gel because we're going through teething. Oh my God, it's a nightmare. <laughs> I've got a random bib, which I just keep just in case. I've got a boots forehead thermometer. 
this is one of the ones that you just kind of slap on the forehead and it'll give you a reading it kind of changes color but that's really useful just in case like in an emergency i keep some of these um cowpole sachets they've got kind of like um ready-made portions of cowpole in them which are just really useful if you don't want to carry a whole bottle while you're out and about and then I've just got some um, different teething granules in here as well. Uh, in these side pockets I do keep nappies which is what they are designed for. In the one side I keep nappy pants and in the other side I just keep actual like tabbed nappies. I like to take a selection because I find it depends where I'm changing him. Not everywhere always has the best changing facilities but like Sometimes like if he's lying down to be changed, I find it easier to use tabbed nappies But if he's standing up and about and whatever then it's much much easier to use kind of like the pull-on nappy pants So that's everything that comes in there. The inside is really nice and waterproof again This is a bit actually been a brilliant changing bag. It might be a bit plain It might be a bit boring, but it is so practical so easy to carry you could fit so much in it I would really recommend it. So yeah, that's everything I think I carry my changing bag. Um, let me know if you carry anything different in yours or if there's anything you think I should be carrying around that you would recommend. I'd love to hear your recommendations and I hope you enjoyed my video and I'll see you in my next one. Take care. Bye.